649. This is your morning in eight minutes. So right now, investigators need your help finding a missing woman. And this is Barbara Clark. Her family hasn't seen her since Saturday. Investigators tell us she does have a medical disorder that might make it hard for her to get home safely without help. She also left her service dog behind, who's normally always with her. She may be driving a 2020 silver Toyota Tacoma pickup with Tennessee specialty plate 152 SD. If you know where she is, call the number at the bottom of your screen. It's in your WVLT News app as well. A man from Utah is in custody this morning after deputies say he kidnapped his son at gunpoint. He was caught in Tennessee. Police say he shot at the boy's mother. Police say John Samples, who does not have custody of his three-year-old son, was visiting his son in Georgia near Chattanooga. Investigators say he kidnapped the boy, was handed a gun from his girlfriend, shot at the boy's mother, and tried to run her over with his car. She's okay. Police caught him in Murfreesboro. Samples is facing a list of charges, including assault, kidnapping, and gun possession by a felon. His girlfriend is charged with kidnapping as well. And the search for six construction workers who were on the Baltimore Bridge that collapsed, now a recovery effort. The Coast Guard says they are missing and presumed dead. Early yesterday morning, Baltimore's Francis Scott Key Bridge collapsed after this cargo ship knocked down one of its support columns. The U.S. Coast Guard says it suspended its search last night and it doesn't think any more survivors will be found. Divers are out right now searching for the presumed dead workers. Two survivors were pulled from the water yesterday morning. One was in critical condition. The port of Baltimore is one of the busiest in the country. It is closed right now until all that debris can be removed. And this morning, several roads in the Smokies are closed. It's because of this multiple down trees. Newfound Gap Road is back open, but a list of roads are still closed right now. The park tells us roads including the Gatlinburg Bypass, Laurel Creek, Cherokee Orchard, Greenbrier, and Tremont Roads are still closed this morning. Some of the Foothills Parkway is still closed as well. The park also sent out a trail advisory this morning. Several trails are temporarily closed. If you would like to check out to see which roads and trails are closed right now, we have a link for you inside your WVLT News app. And happening this morning, two Carnes road rage shooting suspects are due in court. One of them faces attempted second degree murder charges, while the other is charged with accessory after the fact, as well as reckless driving. Marcus Watts expected in court for a plea deadline after a road rage shooting in Carnes in May of last year. Police say the 19 year old shot at a man after pulling out in front of him on West Emory Road. The man says he threw his hands up and honked the horn and Centel pulled next to him and fired three shots into his truck. The man was not hurt. Watts faces attempted second degree murder and gun charges. His co defendant, Christopher Centel, faces accessory charges. And this morning, Crime Stoppers need your help finding these two men on your screen. Take a look. They're accused of stealing a chainsaw. Police say the two entered a hardware store on Chapman Highway, filled their cart with several items, including that chainsaw. When their credit card declined, Crime Stoppers says they ran away with the chainsaw. If you know either of the two, call Crime Stoppers. The number's on your screen and as always inside your WVLT News app. And this morning, a dump truck driver is recovering after being involved in a deadly crash. One person is dead. THP is investigating this crash this morning. It happened Monday afternoon near Kingston Pike and Amesbury Road. THP says the truck driver was headed down Kingston Pike when it crossed four lanes of traffic and ran off the road. After going through the grass, the truck re entered the road onto Amesbury Road, hitting another car. The driver in that car died. She is 45 year old Jamie Little. The driver of the dump truck is hurt. Charges are pending against him. THP is investigating. And a warning from KPD this morning involving a fake parking ticket that was left on someone's car. Yeah, take a look at this. KPD says this is the first fake parking ticket they're aware of. Officials say if you get a ticket like this and you're not sure if it's real or not, call Knoxville Court to check and report it. Well, sad news. You didn't wake up a billionaire this morning. That's because someone in New Jersey actually cashed the $1.1 billion Mega Millions jackpot ticket. It's the fifth largest grand prize in the game's history, the first jackpot win of the year. Well, you still have another chance this week to win big, though. Tonight's Powerball drawing includes an $865 million jackpot. That would also be the fifth largest in that game's history. There was no grand prize winner in the drawing Monday night. Cash option, $416 million. Not too bad. That next drawing tonight at 11 o'clock and happening tonight the city of Alcoa ready to celebrate the back-to-back -back state champs for basketball the Alcoa Tornado boys won the class 2A Tennessee state championship 
last week in Murfreesboro. The party gets started tonight at Alcoa High School from 7 to 8. Players will sign autographs and take pictures with the gold ball. Big congrats to them. We want to get a check of your first alert traffic with Kristen Allen. Good morning. Keep an eye on that first alert traffic for you, especially here at I-40 at Paper Mill Drive, where you can see traffic flow is moving again after we saw three lanes blocked in this area not too long ago. Traffic is moving again. That Insta is moved off the road. So that's some good news for us if you have yet to step out the door. Taking a look there at I-40 just east of downtown Knoxville. Downtown looking pretty good. We've got that traffic flow building there on both sides of the interstate, but not seeing any slowdowns there yet. We do have an indicator for a crash there on I-275 it looks like, so we'll find out what that's about get a look at that but you can see we've got those delays stretching back to 640 now left over from that i-40 west incident so we'll continue to watch that for you taking a look at those drive times you can see we are up to speed and on time 75 south 640 west and 40 west looking good Five minutes to seven now. If you're trying to get out the door this morning, the only thing that really could slow you down weather wise would be some pockets of fog. A lot of this looks like some very low hazy clouds where it's been lifting and drifting, but that means the visibility at the surface is better, but you may top a hill and all of a sudden kind of drive right into that. So that's where we're still watching those visibility readings. Southern Valley to Central Valley. It's been a little cooler and clear on the plateau and then hazier up through far northeast Tennessee to far southeastern Kentucky as well. That's also where we have the warmth still lined up over our area. 52 Athens to 51 Knoxville to 46 Sneedville, then 40 in Crossville to 43 in Jellico. That cooler air, though, is headed your way. We'll just feel it more so tomorrow. As today, we watch fog and clouds stir around, then clouds still flowing through our area this afternoon, right as we sit at normal for today. It'll be 49 at 8 to 59 at noon with a high today of 65. If you want to get outside while we are on that mild side, that seasonable side, just keep in mind we still have high tree pollen budding and blooming after that rain, but also high mold. That won't go away until we get more sunshine, which the good news is the next few days will help to dry that out and warm us up. We've got some big ups and downs the next few days, so we're going to continue to track next week's cold front for you coming up on the CW. Yeah, I have to take my allergy medicine because oh, uh, desperately it. needed. That's for sure, Heather. Right, that'll do it for us this morning on WVLT. We'll see you back on WBXX, a live look in Baltimore this morning.